Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this thank you card. This is using a new stamp set called Humming Along, which I think is quite pretty. It has matching dies, and today we will use the bird die. We won't, I've already cut him out. That's due to my back pain, I can't use my big shot at the moment. Oh, can't use it up at the table. Um, so yes, I've already cut him out. And I've already embossed the card. I'll just get that out now. So to make this card today, we're going to change the colour. We're going to use mint macaron. So you need a card base. I keep saying you'll need a card base. You might not want to use these colours. But you still need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, folded in half and burnished. Idea if you score it first, it folds better. Two pieces of white cardstock, one for the inside and one for the front. And like I said, I've already embossed the front, so I don't need that. My emboss bit is here and I have used a embossing folder that is not stamping up it's a Darcy one and it's like diamonds I've just had this for years stamping up do want do want similar to this I don't have it because I've got that one don't need two the same so that's that. The stamp sets I'm going to use obviously is the hummingbird one just for the bird and the thank you. I'm also going to use All That You Are which is also in the spring and summer catalogue both of them are and we're going to use this little flower and this leaf or sprig of leaves. Yeah so that's what we're going to use. Now I have uh, prepped and coloured everything in ready. A bit of fluff on there and cut it all out. So I will show you just what I've done or how I done it, should just say. So with a scrap of white and your stamps. And I've got no um, uh, blender pens ready, so I'll have to get them out in a minute. Stamp the bird. Oh, it's beat never caught. Just as well I've got one already done. And then on th for the little flower, what I'm actually going to do, I don't know if I did it in this one, no. What I'm actually going to do is stamp it on the inside and then I'll colour it in on the inside. And you will need to stamp three that you can cut out and one on the inside right also on our scrap the leaf which I never got out and take this off of there I did two of the black leaves and then I did four in old olive oh, well 
stamp these and I can cut them out at a later date and use them for something else. Now I want to put um, leaf on here so what I'll do is just block that and stamp it off I'll put another one down there just saves me having to cut out a mask doing it this way and I'm going to put another one over here put the stamp there and you'll be able to manage it so there Right, that's the stamping done. Oh no, I forgot the thank you, which is in mint macaron. And we're going to cut that out by hand. Right, the colour in. Let's get my pens. I've used, now I've got to find them all. I used petal pink, no powder pink. Light or dark? Dark, don't need that one. This is a great box for storing your inks, but it's no good for getting them out. Take them all out. I use sea foam for the uh, bird. I use white for party. I used mint macaron, light and dark. I think that's it. Oh no. And I use pumpkin pie for his beak. That'll do. Oh. 
should have got more out before. So to colour this flower in, what I did, I got dark pink pirouette and just went along the bottom. You would have seen me do this on a previous video. Well, it depends which way I upload them. And then I took the dark, no, this is light, that's not the one I want. Ooh, where's my petal pink? Is this it? This is it. And then I coloured them all in with the dark petal pink. With the pink pure, I just went round the tops of my flowers, which you'll see me do in a few videos. And then with Daffodil Delight. coloured in the stamens. So that's how I coloured in the small flowers and I did all four the same. For the bird I got my soft sea foam and I just coloured in This chest bit. I haven't a clue what a hummingbird looks like. Or the colours of a hummingbird. And then with light pool party. I did the rest of his body. This way. And with the ivory, I coloured in these bits, his top feathers. And then I did his beak. And with his, uh, this is light, and this must be dark, light and dark mint, mint macaron. I just did his feathers and I did every other one so every other one light
the rest I filled in with dark. This bird won't go to waste, he'll go in my box to be used on another card another day. So there you have your hummingbird, which I think is quite nice. Alright, so let's get rid of all these out my way. Then what I did do, I cut out the word thank you by hand. You've probably seen me do this in a previous video, depending which way I upload the videos, because I do film two or three, or in today's case, four videos at one go. Because it does take me over half an hour to set up everything. Because I can't leave it up due to this being my dining room table. So, oh, gone too far. Now, if you don't need the word thank you, don't need thank you cards, you can make it into a happy birthday card. Now we have a thank you. So we'll put that to one side because like I said I have oh I have got everything cut out, including all the leaves. I did sit there last night and cut them all out. Rubbish, don't need that. So I've got four green, no six, two, four, six, and two black, three flowers, a thank you, one flower, and the thank you have been on dimensionals, are already on dimensionals, and so is the hummingbird. So let's move them to one side, and we shall put everything together. inside I'm making these Christmas thank you cards hoping that I'll get Christmas presents the laughing stock if I don't right 
doesn't matter which way this goes because both ends have embossing on them. To stick these on, we have our bird is going to go as if he's diving down into the flowers, and this one on top like that. So let's now only glue in the middle because. I want to put the leaves underneath them. Take the backings off. Oh, take the backings off the bird as well. In fact, no one. I will stick our leaves on first. So what I did was put a green or an old olive, a black and an old olive. To the side there, then I put a green and a black there. An old olive coming down the way. And an old olive at the bottom. And an old olive at the top. Let's see if that's. off the hummingbird and we're going to lay him like that and then take the backings off the thank you a sharp bit where I never cut it properly. That's better. So all I've got to do now is just add a few gems and we'll add some silver gems to this one. That one's not very really sticky. So
and that's it complete. I hope you like it. And if you do, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And bless, press the bell button next to it. And you'll be notified of any more uh, videos I upload, usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.